What's up guys, welcome back to Aiden Films where we discuss and critique TV shows, movies, and any short films that we come across on the internet. Today we switched it up with locations and we are back inside my room. Today is the second part of four parts where I will be critiquing and analyzing the two minute short film clip that I created in my fifth period media studies class. So I mean, if you haven't done so already, make sure you go watch the first video before you watch this one, which is the second of the four videos. Now, today we are going to be answering the second question, which is how does your product engage with audiences and how would it be distributed as real media? All right, so we're going to break this question up into two parts, the same way we did in the last video. So the first part of this question is how does your product engage with audiences? So our intended audience for this video is people who like horror movies, you know, are invested in getting scared, you know, finding out why they're killers, why they're murderers. And, you know, I think this film really gets to that audience and really does the job of getting their attention because we know with horror we hear the scary music we watch the girl get murdered we know that it's not necessarily a murder mystery because we already know who the murderer is but it's more of a like why like we want to know why did, why did he kill her why is he killing these people like what what is causing him to murder people who are in the run for the class of valedictorian like it's kind of weird it's Nobody understands. So I feel like it really grabs the audience's attention and really gets everybody to want to watch the movie more. You know, they're going to get scared. There's going to be probably more killings, you know. I'm sure a lot of drama is going to come out of it. You know, I think high schoolers might be attracted to this movie because it is high schoolers at the end of the day that are being murdered. So, you know, maybe there's drama. Maybe something happened with them. It's going to really attract everybody to want to watch the movie, I think, in my opinion and then now for the second half of the question it is um how would i distribute this as a real media text so now for horror movies the top two streaming services for horror is shutter and hbo max so i think i would want to shutter's number one actually so i think i'd want to stream on shutter you know they have a ton of horror movies they have a lot of old horror movies new horror movies everything is on there it's like basically like a ton a ton a ton of just horror 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 and really much nothing else and then hbo max it does have other genres but it does have a broad selection of horror movies which i feel like is great for this because you know people are a lot of people have hbo max actually i've never really personally heard of a lot of people having shutter but i have of hbo max so i feel like it's also a very big streaming service so i feel like we could get a ton of viewers we could satisfy a ton of customers who want not customers viewers who want to watch the movie and things like that and i think it'll just really work out for this movie all right guys so that is the end of the second part of four parts so make sure that if you haven't already you could subscribe by hitting this button here and hit that like button come back for part three but make sure that you don't watch part three unless if you watched part one and part two which is this one